one. Um, as always, I hope you enjoyed your home learning activities for yesterday and thank you again to all of the grown-ups that sent me lots of lovely photos and videos and um, examples of work. Um, it was brilliant, so thank you. Um, so here are your home learning activities for today. So activity one um, is a uh, creative activity today, but you are going to use some physical skills for this one. So you're going to make a colourful colour collage. So um, you could use magazines, newspapers, coloured paper, look, any different materials that you can find. You could cut up boxes or um, any materials that you've got. So you're going to use the scissors safely. Um, if you do not have any child friendly scissors or small enough scissors, then get your grown up to help you cut the bits up. Um, if it's material that you can rip or tear, then you can rip it up into little bits. Um, and then you're going to stick the pieces on a piece of paper to create a beautiful collage. So can you fill the whole piece of paper and make it all lovely and colourful? Um, if you want, you can find some things from outside, if, um, such as leaves um, to add to your collage or petals from flowers if you can find some. So if you do go on a walk today, you might want to collect um, some bits from outside for your lovely collage. So I have put an example of one here. Um, so but yours doesn't have to look like this, it can look exactly how you want it to. Um, you just make sure you use lots of different textured materials. So activity two is a phonics activity. So again, we're all back to making different sounds. So we've done lots of activities so far of making different sounds with our mouths. Um, so now we're gonna have a go at some body percussion and making different sounds with different parts of our bodies. Now we have practiced this um, in nursery already. So you should be familiar with this already. So you're gonna ask a grown up or an older sibling, an older brother or sister to clap out a repeated pattern for you to copy. And then you're going to try and repeat it back to them. And then you can have a go at clapping a repeated pattern and see if they can repeat it back to you. Um, so you can try this with some other body percussion, such as uh, tapping on your knees or legs. You could tap your shoulders or your head. Um, you can stamp your feet to make sounds on the ground. Um, so you're going to tap out the patterns and see if someone can copy you. And then you're going to try and copy some patterns as well using different parts of your body. Activity number three, you are going to make a shopping list today. So I know all grown-ups make shopping lists ready for when they go to the supermarket or do their online shopping. Um, so you are going to help your grown-up with the shopping by making a shopping list. So you can draw the items that you need to buy at the shop. So think about what you might need to buy. It might be toilet roll, it might be eggs, it might be milk. So have a go at drawing a picture of them. Um, if you need your grown-ups help, then as always, um, you can get them to draw them for you and you can colour them in. So how can you remember what you wanted to buy and how many? Um, so I've done an example list here, but I want you to see if you can think of a good way to show this on your shopping list. So what Miss Nunn has done here is I've made my shopping list. I've got my pictures of my different items and then in the box next to it, I've done a tally chart. So I've used my lines with my pencil to say how many of each thing I need to buy. And then I've put the number next to it as well. If you can't write your numbers, that's absolutely fine. You can just do the marks. So I, if I look on my list here, I can see that I need two boxes of eggs. So I've got a box of eggs and then in the box next to it, I've got two lines to show that I need two boxes of eggs. So you can do this for all the objects that you need on your shopping list as well. Uh, so yeah, that should keep you going for a little while. See if you can um, help your grown-ups to write their shopping list today. So that is all of your activities for today. As always, grown-ups, if you do have any questions or you need any help, then please just um, pop me an email on the F1 email address. Um, but children, I hope you have fun with your activities today um, and good luck and I look forward to seeing um, what you get up to. Uh, so have a good day and I will speak to you again tomorrow. Bye bye.